Welcome back everyone. Today we're playing a puzzle game called The Room. It was originally a mobile game, I believe, that, that they're slowly porting over to PC. The Room 1 and I think even The Room 2 are now both on PC. They're just a few hours long each, I believe. And this is a Patreon-sponsored video for Daniel A. Leahy. Or Daniel Lay. I'm never entirely sure how to pronounce that last part. But yeah, he's, he stored up some credits and he cashed them in on this. Let's see how it goes. Hints, excuse me, no. There we go, click on the arrow. That's right, I'm gonna fail this and it's gonna be all my fault. Nobody else's. And it's gonna be amazing looking. I don't think frame rate's gonna be a problem in this kind of game, so let's make it look as good as it can, right? In we go. I don't know anything about what I'm getting myself into. All I know is that, which is that all the screenshots of this game are this box. So I think this is more or less what we're getting ourselves into. So you click and drag to look around. Which makes sense if it's a touchpad, touch screen game. Can I use WASD maybe? That's too bad. Nope, just mouse controls probably for the whole game. Double click on the envelope on top of the safe to focus on it. Up here? There it is. Oh yeah, all touch screen controls. So it says, wait, can I zoom in on this a little bit? I can at least rotate the camera a little bit. You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and it is the key to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. Wow, no, no big deal, huh? Small brass key with an animal motif. Looks like... Huh. That looks really bizarre, actually. It almost looks like some sort of, like, small dough with... Or something with... Huh? It honestly mostly looks like a dog with a human head, and then a giant outline of an eyeball behind it. Like, nothing... The, everything... Everything on the bottom half of the body looks familiar. Everything on the top half of the body, it's hard to recognize as being anything. So we can rotate... Oh, here we go. Whoa! Look at that. There's a little compartment that only opens when you put it over it. Okay. I think they're just teaching us how to interact with objects. It's intuitive enough. What's this say? The curious eyepiece it says, "Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die." Hello. So there's something we only want to feed and we don't want to drink, unless the water helps. Let's see. Click the eyepiece icon to remove it. Did that change the appearance of the stuff around here? Not really. Oh, we need a lens for our eyepiece. Right now it's just nothing. Okay, makes sense. So, th so maybe I'll have some information about what to make of this once I have the lens for my eyepiece, but until then we're, we're kind of screwed. Was this, did the same thing work on this guy? Could I have... No, this is already me focused on it. Alright, so I want to look at both of these again, but until I get the lens, we're not going to get much done. We have some books up here. Can I open these? Some of my dusty old books. I don't think they'll help me here. Why are they here, then? I wonder why they're included. Maybe it'll. Maybe that'll come up later, too. Can click on the environment stuff. I think everything outside of the box might just be a weird side detail, just to make this room feel like a room. Bespoke safes for the gentry. Guildford, England. The world-renowned talisman, established 1807. Guaranteed uh, thief and fireproof. I'm not, I don't remember for sure, but I think talisman might, talisman might be the name of the company that made this game. Can I, 
undo this? Let's see. I might be able to unscrew this if I had something to grip it with. So I have no tools right now, so we can't do much. But there's probably something hidden behind that. What's that? Hello. A strangely shaped keyhole. That seems fitting enough, yeah. Minor detail to keep track of. Oop. The base of this thing has triangles indicating earth and fire. Fire. Wood feeds it, but water puts it out. I guess I should give it a push. Oh, that is perfect. That makes perfect sense. It's, uh, you, f you feed it with, uh, yeah, that actually does make perfect sense. You feed it with, uh, wood, you put it out with water, so eat it, or eat it, uh, feed it to keep it alive, uh, let it drink and it will perish. Are the hints turned on? They're turned off. So this is still tutorial or something, because it, I, it kind of solved, it kind of told me that I solved the quest, the mission before I would actually knew for sure that I had solved it, to be honest. Uh, I was just looking around and not looking for a solution to the earlier, uh, riddle, but they kind of gave away that it was solved when that, when that ha pop-up happened. There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look at the key. Oh, hi. Looks like I can turn the end of the key so we can change the shape of it. Okay, that seems about right, unless I can rotate it even further. It only seems to rotate into two directions. This looks like it fits the shape we saw in the hole. I mean, in the wall. Up here. Oop. Do I drag it? There we go. There we go. An ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. Well, that's straightforward enough. I haven't even looked at the other two sides of this box yet, and I'm immediately finding stuff related to the stuff that I was looking at earlier. Here we go. An eyepiece! Wow, I walked right into the exact thing to look at first, huh? Alright, we have a lens for our eyepiece. Okay. Slightly startling. There's some sounds, huh? So the whole thing looks like a, it might be in some, inside of some kind of summoning circle. There's an emblem of some kind on the back that's probably a solution to something. Or maybe I can figure out what they mean. There's a handprint. Do the notes... The notes appear to be clean. I thought they'd have secret writing on them. This whole thing... Yeah, the, the, play, the thing that had the... The feed me note in it is on a platform... Surprisingly, I'm not, very, I'm not really able to rotate the camera. So maybe the symbols don't matter very much. Look at that background over there. There's a whole bunch of symbols along the wall. Okay. How about this wall? Oh. What's your deal? Gotta wonder why there's a weird curvy line on it. I wonder if, if I get chalk at some point. Does anything pop up when I look at the earth? Can I push it? Nope. Let's look around for details. This whole wall doesn't seem like it has much, but maybe these these old things all these things might open one by one at some point. How about the other side? Same line again. Those are air and water. All right, let's look into opening this whole thing then. What do you have for me? We have a button. Let's look at the front first. Okay, just a cog. That looks important. Can't really look at it directly. Just kind of a drawing. We'll see if it if those kinds of drawings come up at some point. Hello. I think I found where the other one comes in. It's a it's a dual function key. And this is probably what we need the lens for. A uh, lens for. Yep. Without the lens, this doesn't have any information on it. Come on. Good. Yeah. The audio is a little loud for me, so all these banging noises are kind of startling. <laughs> 
There's a box within a box. Well, well, let's take it out for a closer look. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress, but do you really think you have proven yourself yet? 